Changes in toxin or chemicals in the foods. Study recommended, long-term study, never done. So the scientists asked for these studies, said, let us do them. We think there's a problem here. We've taken a, a preliminary look. We think there's a problem. But the politicians at the FDA and, and in the administration at that time said, no. They suppressed the science. And these questions, these studies, have never been done. Never been done. The Flavor Saver tomato was the first genetically engineered food to reach the public. Calgene, the corporation that produced the tomato, had done three voluntary feeding studies on rats and found lesions in some of the rats' stomachs. The question that you're asking is, is uh, about the Flavor Saver tomato and what went into that. Curiously enough, I was actually one of the um, outside consultants that was in the last meeting on the Flavor Saver tomato, which wasn't terribly successful commercially. But um, the FDA scientist went through a long presentation about all the analyses they had done. And her concluding slide was, the Flavor Saver tomato is a tomato. So they had not found any substantial differences except for the addition of the one extra gene that actually decreased the rate at which they went soft, so they extended the, the shelf life. And indeed, um, that was the conclusion, so they had no reason to regulate it on the basis of, of safety.